What's up my crypto legends? The price of Bitcoin has exploded out here from the symmetrical triangle finally getting above $44,000. We got above the value area high from January and December of 2023. Is this bullish? We're going to start seeing people here calling for 55,000 plus and many other numbers to the upside. We want to be very cautious. Today we're taking a look at the DXY that looks very bullish. This is the most important chart that you need to understand for the mid long term for Bitcoin. We'll go through that. We're going to go through liquidity and some interesting news, guys. Let's dive in here right away. Now, I am interested in shorting this range. I'm actually trying to attempt a nice short swing trade position. I am very defensive. I try and detect here those double, triple tops in this range and manage my risk very well, guys. I'm really interested in that possible retracement coming in the coming days. If it goes to $45,000, not to worry. I will be analyzing the situation, not losing too much of my capital as I am a very good defensive trader. Now, if you are interested in trading on Bybit, you want to check out the bonuses down below, guys. The bonuses down below is obviously the highest one, $30,000. $30 if you just deposit $100 and place a trade with $500 worth of volume. That is basically with just a bit of leverage. And you also get that 20% fee reduction. I have got the VIP. I got the most fee reduction, of course. This is why it's important. You know, when you get stopped out at break even, many people, you know, say I'm paying, you know, too much in fees. Now, you do get a 20% fee reduction if you sign up with a link in the description here for Bybit Mine number one crypto trading platform, guys. Let's go right away and through the technical analysis. Now, this is exciting because we're going to start seeing a lot of people extremely bullish. And I'm not saying that the bullish count is very much possible. I haven't got much levels here. We'll get them on the chart here during the next couple of minutes. But let's analyze the situation here. First of all, going with market structure, remembering that we have broken down here, this market structure here, the second, third week of January, creating a lower low. Now, I'm very interested in this area 44, 45, 40, you know, doesn't matter. We can try and get into a short attempt here, managing risk very, very well, because the moment this does pull back, okay, possibly below $42,000, obviously it's going to get a massive risk to reward. Now, there is the bullish case scenario, right? Let's just go with the bullish case scenario, looking at, you know, basic Elliott wave counts. What if this has been a one wave to the upside in five waves? This has been a regular flat here, ABC corrective move, and we are inside of the third wave, which is going to be extremely explosive, getting well above $46,000 and $47,000 in the coming days. It is a possibility, guys, you know, just as analyzing the market, we just have to say that, you know, maybe this is a possibility. Uh, if you are trying to get into a swing short position, I'm obviously more interested in scalping and day trade, but I'm interested in having a, a possible swing short position, just realizing the possibility here that we could get that pullback. And that has to do with this chart over here. OK, we haven't quite quite reached the 618 Fibonacci from the highs you created on the 11th of January to the low right there from the 23rd of January. We can see here 618 is forty five thousand dollars. So we might get that leg up here to that range. 618, get a reaction there. Main reason why the price is getting a reaction from this level. If we do take a look at the price action that has happened during the last few weeks in December, also in January, and we get a box right there, we can see those highs have been respected very, very well. We got a bounce here. We got a breakout, major bounce here as support. Boom, lower high, straight back down. Resistance again, major breakout, support, 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 as you can see here back on the 10th of January. This zone is a bit of resistance. We can see it. It's been a proven resistance and support level here during the last two months. So this is why we're getting a bit of a reaction. Definitely worth, if you know how to do it, looking for those double tops, triple tops here. Very important, okay, to look at the possible trading setup. It's getting a little bit of a reaction here, guys. Be defensive if you want to try and get into the, some short positions, guys, because you're fighting the trend. Now, let's move in here forward. Other scenario, of course, the bullish scenario would be, hey, this has been a corrective structure. Now, it would make sense as well as we did hit the one-to-one -one extension from pivot low to the pivot high. You know, the corrective move was just fine. Just after crossing the one-to-one -one, a day later, bang, we start moving to the upside. This is what we wanted to see. It was too early here to get the leg up uh, successfully. So we looked at, you know, crossing one-to-one, -one, we're getting that leg to the upside here now. 
can this still be a flat ABC scenario? Something that is very interesting here, either this being a ABC or a one, two, three, four, five, the retracement from this pivot low to the pivot high hasn't, hasn't even reached, oh my goodness, hasn't even reached the 382. This is very, very shallow for a B wave or for a second wave. You know, it just does not make much sense uh, for the price action to actually explode here. Just looking at the Elliott wave theory. Now, on the other side, looking at the extension here, if we were to see an ABC flat coming back down beneath $42,000, when we do take a look at this as an A wave to the downside, and we do take a look here at the Fibonacci levels here for the possible B flat, okay? A, B in a flat wave. The 1, 2, 3, 6, 1, 3, 8, 2 is very common for a B in a flat structure. This is currently where we're sitting at the moment. So, not off the table. That could still be a possibility. Price could get very, very choppy here. We might hit 45. That is definitely a possibility. Be cautious, guys. This could actually get that movement to the downside in the next coming days. Sweeping all of these lows. That is definitely a scenario. So there is a bullish case. Of course, we could get that continuation. 45, $46,000. I do personally think that we could be topping out somewhere around about this area. Give or take a bit of volatility. It could get a bit punchy. We haven't hit still the 618 Fibonacci from the high to the low. You know, that's sitting at $45,000. We could get a bit of volatility all the way up there. Still a chance. I am looking at this range possibly to top out. If we were to break through $46,000 where we do have a naked point of control from this consolidation, then I'm going to say, guys, you know, hey, this is actually looking quite bullish. You know, I was wrong. We're probably going to go to higher levels. But for the moment, yeah, like I said, like I mentioned here during the last couple of weeks, you know, I'm still looking possibly for that lower high formation here to get a pretty decent pullback. Now, one of the main reasons why here, looking at the DXY, guys, DXY is looking bullish. I am sorry. Guess where the DXY bottomed out here? This was in July and got a major rally. This is when Bitcoin topped out. Bitcoin did get a drop during July, August, okay, when we do zoom out here on the four hourly time frame, and we do take a look at July, where the DXY bottomed, right? Boom. There's July right there. There's July here on the DXY. Bang, major rally. Bitcoin major corrective move going from 31,500 all the way down to $25,000. Almost, yeah, around about a $10,000 drop in a matter of a few weeks in between August and September. Now, if we go to the next bottom range, this was obviously September, October. This is when the DXY was topping out. Now, when we do take a look at the first week of January, okay, just one month ago, this is when we saw the DXY bottoming out. First week of January. What happened the first week of January for Bitcoin, guys? Well, we started topping out. This is where we started to get a major pullback. This is a very powerful pullback for Bitcoin. This was also over a $9,000 pullback, almost $10,000 basically dipping beneath $39,000. First week of January, okay, entering into the second week is where we started dropping, is where the DXY bottomed out here. DXY rallying. Now, this major rally that has happened for Bitcoin during the last few weeks is a little bit of a dead cat bounce for me. It is a little bit of a, you know, looking for another leg to the downside still in my personal opinion, because the DXY right now has broken structure. It has broken the bearish structure that we had here during late 2022 and part of 2023 with that movement in October. As you can see right there of 2023, breaking the downtrend structure giving the possibility of a higher low right there. What is happening more locally here, guys, is that we have broken the point of control. It hasn't been a major move. It could still be a fake out. But this is an extremely important level that did get resistance multiple times in 2023. Also, back here in December of 2023, 
we kind of broke out slightly just the last few days. We are actually maintaining that point of control from the last two years, okay? Just gonna get a horizontal line here in the red so you can see it very clearly. And we're gonna zoom in on the five minute time frame. Guess what? We are managing to maintain it as support. And DXY is actually getting a major rally. If this rally were to continue getting a bit of a reaction from that support resistance flip, as you can see right there, we continue rallying here during the next coming days, guys. Bitcoin will get the significant pullback. You get DXY getting above this level over here, the highs here from the last few days, and continuing to the upside, Bitcoin will retrace. Something to consider, guys. Could get a bit choppy. There's no instant correlation, negative correlation. So we want to see the DXY actually getting some punchy action here during the next coming days if we want to see that pullback, okay? We might get a leg up here and Bitcoin's pumping as well. But as we do continue here during the next one to two weeks, obviously, Bitcoin will likely be topping out at some point with those double, triple tops and finally get that pullback as the DXY continues bullish. Need to take it into consideration, guys. People seem to forget about one of the most important charts to detect what Bitcoin is going to do. Now, let's dive in right away here with the liquidity. We've been sweeping up all of that liquidity at the $44,000 range. We got a bit more at 45K, a bit of punchy action to, to the upside is definitely very possible. We have a couple of billion dollars here, around about $42,000, below $42,000, giving that possibility of an ABC flat right there. Then this, if this does happen, yeah, we could probably get a, another move to the upside. That would mean ABC right there and then get a move down. Of course, there is a lot of bullish, macro bullish things going on. Everybody's going to start feeling extremely bullish right now. We got the halving in around about 70 days already. That is a bullish effect, no doubt, after the halving during the next few months of that. Then obviously we've got a supply shock. We've got bullish news. MicroStrategy now consider itself the world's first Bitcoin development company. MicroStrategy obviously on the top. We have Fidelity is allocating 1% of its most conservative ETF Bitcoin. So already in 1%, I think this is going to go higher in the next coming months. They'll probably allocate 2% or 3% of basically their capital. We can see also over 1 billion trading volume for Bitcoin ETFs today. We can see, you know, obviously there is a little bit of FOMO, ETF rush. Uh, we have GBTC, the selling pressure is lowering every single day. So there's basically no more selling pressure, hardly from GBTC for the moment. So it looks like that, you know, it was so many macro bullish things going on, but the charts are the charts, guys, and charts is getting into a major level of resistance considering that we have broken the structure. Will I be wrong or not? And we're going to break through $47,000, and I would say, wow, this is actually very, very punchy. We'll be analyzing the situation then if that were to happen. For the moment, for those swing traders, I am looking for a swing short position. I am an extremely defensive trader. Stop loss break even, I got very low fees. Looking here, if we get that leg up, choppiness, another double local, double top, right? I'm looking for those trading setups here very, very nicely with very good risk management, obviously, as always. Also, taking a look at the day trading and scalping opportunities with the Legends Trading Community. Of course, on the lower time frames, we form beautiful ranges, taking CVD into consideration and looking for those nice little scalp positions of a few hundred dollars. Guys, I want to remind you that there is a giveaway going on. The K app is giving $1,000 tomorrow. Two lucky people are going to get $500 each, US dollar tether. The way that you can enter this competition is basically following these steps. Sign up through the K app. You got the link down below. It's the second link here, as you can see. The next step is you need to activate your cash account. Once you've signed up, you just need to go to the cash tab, activate it right over there, and just deposit $20. Change it for Bitcoin. Do whatever you want with those $20. Okay, they're yours. And you're entering into that giveaway, which will be announced in tomorrow's live stream. $500 each for two lucky winners. If you haven't checked out my Bybit tutorial to learn how to trade on that platform, guys, check it out. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one.